Welcome back. Let's take you live now to where the DA's Helen Zilla has just cast her vote and speaking to our reporter ENCA's Lindsay Dentlinger. The entire community on the basis of race, the media was very, very quiet. They only piped up when the DA said this is not on. Helen, you've got a very um, inexperienced candidate running for mayor of Cape Town. Uh, do you feel that your supporters uh, will come out in their numbers to back him? He's had no local government experience. Um, and uh, is that a good choice for Cape Town? Well, please remember that when I became mayor of Cape Town, I had absolutely no local government experience whatsoever. You read the laws, and there are three major laws and a whole lot of regulations, and they're complex and difficult, but there's no one I would have greater confidence in than Jordan Hill Lewis to get on top of that, and very quickly. You've been spending all your time, as you pointed out, in Port Elizabeth, uh, in, in Quebecos. Uh, Quebec, uh, yes. <laughs> um, uh, is that because you feel maybe that they need a little bit more help to make sure the DA gets that majority and that Cape Town lets a fate complete? Well, the bottom line is that this is the very last chance that Nelson Mandela Bay has. It is a broken city, but it is not irreversible. There are many towns across the Eastern Cape that are irreversible. You cannot fix them anymore. Without years and years and years of investment, because the money is all stolen, the infrastructure is totally destroyed, and the rate space isn't strong enough to start building it up again. Nelson Mandela Bay is a beautiful city with so much potential and wonderful people. It's called the friendly city for a very good reason. Now they just need a decent government and it'll be all systems go. We can turn around Nelson Mandela Bay. The voters just have to give us a chance to do that. Helen, how confident are you that the DA can maintain its majority in Cape Town? And what if we're back in a situation you were in in 2006 uh, where you had to form coalitions? How prepared is the DA for that? I'm confident that we will retain our majority in Cape Town. Cape Townians know that the choice is between the blue and the yellow. The yellow party can't point to a single government that they have run well in the whole of South Africa, even though they run 90% of all local authorities. They can't point to a single example where they run well. And the DA can point to many, many examples. That's why we dominate the league tables of the best-run local authorities. People in Cape Town, and I hope voters in general, actually understand what an election is about. It's about getting service delivery right. It's about getting things done. And it's about comparing the offers of different parties. And if you compare the offer of the DA and the ANC, it's really no contest. It's really no contest if you vote for the right things. If you want your town to flourish and grow, if you want confidence and investment and jobs, you obviously vote DA. But uh, Helen, it's obvious places like Rugaletu, Kailich are not flourishing when you've been there this weekend and see the state uh, of those areas. What is the DA offering people in those communities? Every single metro has poor areas. And I can promise you this, having been in poor areas across the entire country, the package of free basic services that the DA offers and the services in general and responsiveness that the DA offers and the infrastructure, the water, the sanitation, the roads, the public transport, there's no comparison. Poor people live a much better life in Cape Town than anywhere else. Helen, uh, do you have any concerns about the IEC and its handling of this election? Can you also expand on the forms that you mentioned earlier? Look, I'm very concerned about uh, the IEC. I'll be quite honest about that. They have also been subject to CADA deployment for the longest time. And we've seen that with uh, bending over in all sorts of directions to enable the ANC to re-register its candidates when they missed a deadline. No one else is allowed to miss a deadline, only the ANC. So that obviously should worry us very, very much. The um, IEC had a list of MEC7 forms. Those are people who are voting outside the place where they are registered, and suddenly that tripled in a very short space of time, and we were very concerned about that. And we are very, very worried about the extent to which the redemarcation, the MEC7 forms, and the risk of people not being able to use the infrastructure or the connectivity not being there because of load shedding and all of that may fundamentally affect the freeness and fairness of this election. We don't have confidence in the IEC. We've said that very often. They've got a lot to prove to actually win our confidence back. Dat is een ANC-kallig. Ja, ik heb een geel pen in mijn kar gekregen en met hierdie geel stem 
hier geel pen gaan ik blauw stem. <laughs> uh, there you have it, uh, Heidi uh, Helen Zilla now moving into uh, Pinelands uh, High School where she's going to cast her special vote. Uh, the reason she's doing so uh, as a special vote today, Heidi, is because she's been spending most of her time campaigning uh, in Kabecha and she intends to return there and won't be here uh, on voting day and so casting a special vote here in Pinelands today. Okay, that's the situation in uh, Cape Town. I'm not sure, Lindsay, if uh, they will allow you to go into the voting station, uh, but perhaps we can just stay with those visuals. Uh, an interesting question that you asked, uh, Lindsay, to um, Helen Zilla about uh, an inexperienced mayoral candidate uh, in Cape Town, and uh, Helen Zilla saying, well, um, she was inexperienced when she started off uh, in local government. Um, perhaps we can just uh, stick with those visuals and you can just elaborate a little more on what Helen Zilla said to you. Okay, as you can see uh, there, the DA's Helen Zilla is casting her vote uh, now. Uh, we will return to Cape Town a little later on. Uh, when we return, we check in on the situation in KwaZulu-Natal.